What's the question about the Eucharist? Uh, so I interpret the Last Supper as Jesus including his disciples. Now you just said you're temple. not a believer, right? Pardon? You're not a believer yet, right? Uh, it, it, some things I struggle with, definitely. I, yeah, but I, you're not a believer, right? You're not. You haven't given yourself fully to Christ, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. See, now this is where it's dangerous when you say I interpret. Well, you haven't spent enough time in the Scriptures to study to <clears throat> even have a valid interpretation because the bible in the hands of someone untrained is a dangerous weapon it's like putting a gun or a machete or a sword in the hand of a five-year-old so your interpretation really doesn't carry any weight because you may not be qualified in fact you're not qualified to know what it means How, why are you trusting your interpretation oh i'm not that's what i'm talking to you <laughs> okay, good. but i'm just bringing that in context you understand what i'm trying to show you right yeah yeah for sure okay um, but go ahead i just wanted to clarify i'm not cutting you up to be rude i'm just trying to show you look at the Look at the implication. I interpret. That's why we ended up with 40,000 denominations or 40,000 branches of Christianity. But go ahead. Okay. Um, what what, the, what I thought, okay, uh, as I read it, was Jesus was essentially, when he said, my body's the temple, he's giving his body uh, ceremonially to his disciples. So he's including them in his uh, kingdom, essentially, his temple, and giving them authority. The Eucharist is the sacrifice of the Passover. And he's saying that now the Passover is defined by my sacrifice, not mm. the lamb. He is okay. the sacrificial lamb of a new Passover, of a new exodus, of a new covenant. Because what was the occasion? It was the Passover, the slaughtering of the Passover lambs to commemorate God redeeming Israel out of bondage to Pharaoh. Egyptian slavery. It was the slaying of an actual lamb, an actual lamb being sacrificed, whose meat they had to eat, not break any of the bones. This you'll find in Exodus 12, outlined mm -hmm. and articulated. And then they would take the blood, mix it with bitter herbs and hyssop, put it on the top and the sides of the door. And when God would see the blood, then the firstborn in the house would be spared. But the firstborn of all the Egyptians, from their children to the cattle, would be killed which led to a great cry and then forced the Pharaoh to let them go. It was an actual, actual sacrifice. So Jesus is now saying that this Passover is now defined by my sacrifice because he is the Passover lamb who takes away the sin of the world, John 1, 29, 1 Corinthians 5, 7. That has nothing to do with the disciples because he's now redefining the Passover in respect to his sacrifice on the cross. Okay, I see. I wasn't taking the Old Testament context into it. Okay. Well, that's the context, right? Because it's the Passover. Yes, Luke yes. 22, 14 and 16. How he said, I eagerly desired to, desired to eat this Passover with you. Mm -hmm. 